Hey guys, Indigo Films TV here. I thought for this video I would show you guys how to create a sim or just show you guys who are starting the game um, several aspects of creating a sim. Um, basically I've shown you guys a lot of my neighborhood already and maybe I'll give you guys a tour of it later again but that was my white mansion and um, I'm also sipping on some coffee right now so uh, if you hear some kind of sipping sound, then that's you'll know what that is. But yeah, this is basically my town, and um, let's just go to a vacant house. This is my main house. Um, I had one of my sims live here, but uh, they moved out recently and lived with lived somewhere else, and now they're living with another sim. So let's create a household by, and you can have various options from just looking at a house to relocating or um, adding a new sim, so let's add a new sim. And um, yeah, pretty much you have the option of changing their looks and their personality. Um, so the first tab, you can pretty much randomize. If you have, if you want a female sim or a male sim, um, you click on the gender, and then pretty much you can randomize. Um, like what they look like as well as their personality and stuff but if you want to customize it um, in this case I guess I'll just do a female um, if you want to customize it you just can definitely do that instead of pressing the random you fill out everything so um, let's think of a name um, let's see let's maybe, maybe let's come up with a skin tone first so the skin tone varies from light to dark to something in the middle. Um, I personally like darker skin tones. I think they look really good. But I have a lot of sims who already have darker skin tones, so let's go with... Let's just go with something random, like this, I guess. And um, you can also change their personality. So, this is pretty creepy. But, you know, there's different personalities, and I guess you can create a sim that either suits you, that reflects the type of person you are, or someone that you want to be. Since this is a video game, it's good for like an escape, and if you want to be, you know, if you want to play the role of someone else, I think that'd be really cool to do here. And uh, personally, I'm a mix between a bookworm and a rom romantic, as well as old school. But in this case, I'm just going to go with Tycoon because I think that it's cool to have a girl that's a Tycoon. So I'm going to have that. Um, and uh, let's see for the name. I think that'd be a cool last name. Or actually, let's go with something. Let's go with something that's environmentally friendly and just use green as a last name. For the first name, let's just use what I was going to use for the la last name. Actually, Candy, I was just thinking of that because I was watching Django. And Quentin Tarantino is one of my favorite directors. And Django is one of my favorite movies from him. And there's a character whose last name is Candy on there. So that's what made me think of that but anyways um, if you go to the next tab over that was the first tab next tab over is um, the looks of their hair and their head and their eyes so pretty much there's different hairs this one kinda looks like you just woke up this is more athletic really clean cut I like it and of course each hair color each hairstyle has different hair colors um, there's black blonde brown um, brunette gray um, so whatever you like, um, you can definitely choose. This is nice. I haven't ever been able to get my hair like that, but, um, this is something else that's like, if your sim was an artist, you could probably choose this because there's a beret and kind of seems fitting. This is a little bit more modern and just some pretty decent hairstyles that are Nice. I'm not used to multitasking, <laughs> so this is weird for me to uh, show you guys how to do this and talk at the same time. I mean, a lot of times I would um, just have pictures of 
different houses and talk over it. So when I'm talking, I'm not, you know, showing you guys. I'm actually, you know, the only thing I'm doing is talking. Oh yeah, if I had to make a new sim for my medieval castle, I would probably choose this because they have a crown and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I'm used to just doing one thing or the other. So sorry if I sound really weird. This is a really cool hairstyle too. I like this. This is definitely part of the retro look um, and they have this like retro pack. That's my coffee. And um, something more modern with the highlights and stuff. I already have one of my sims with that kind of hairstyle. I think the beanie looks good. There's some masks. And part of the snow update, they have this, uh, this like snow outfit. And um, part of it is having a sim with a beanie. And I think this weird foil thing on top of the head thing is part of possibly the alien update. Um, that's kind of what it looks like because, I don't know, whenever I see this, I'm reminded of the movie Coneheads. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that, but really funny movie. And this, again, is, I think, part of just the snow update. But let's just go back to something modern and looks good. So let's just go with this. Um, and head, you can choose ranging from anything from no makeup to a little bit of makeup to a lot of makeup. So it's whatever you guys want. Um, this is pretty cool. I guess I'll choose something with a little bit of makeup. Either that or no makeup. Let's just choose this for now. And eye color, there's a variety of eye colors ranging from brown to light green to or to yellow, which I've never seen, and light yellow, which I've never seen on a real person. Um, but that's the beauty of video gaming, right? You get to have unique eye colors that you don't really see in real life. But anyways, there's also light blue, which I've never seen on a person before either, but pretty cool nonetheless. I really like this color. It's kind of this turquoise color. So let's choose that. You can play around, go back and forth to see whatever matches. So let's see. Um, and for the outfits, if you go to the very last tab, you can choose a preset outfit, which pretty much ranges from professional to casual to bunny Easter, Easter bunny. <laughs> this is so random. But yeah, uh, actually if you guys choose different styles, they also change your hair sometimes. So I'm probably gonna screw my Sims hair up from doing this. Yeah, it's changed. This is a little bit more risque, so there's all types of outfits that are preset. Or you could go on the individual tabs and create your own outfit, which is what I'm going to do. Um, but for right now, let's change the hair back because for some reason it was changed earlier from looking at the different outfits. Let's see. Where is that hair that I had? Alright, here it is. And let's go on to the third tab, which is where you choose all your tops. And again, there's a lot of different types of stuff. And if you go over to the fourth tab, you see the different pants that you can choose from. So you can mix and match or, you know, on different occasions, you can change your Sims outfits too. Like if you're going to a nightclub or you plan to go on to a nightclub, you can change it to something like, oh, I don't know, this. <laughs> Or if you're going to, say, play soccer using that little soccer field, you can choose something more athletic, like, let's see what's athletic. That top with maybe, you know, something like this. And of course, you wouldn't use those shoes, you would use sneakers or sports shoes, running shoes. So, you know, you have the option of doing that. And you can always go to a wardrobe to change your Sims outfits, you know, multiple times a day, however many times you guys want. But for right now, let's just choose something kind of nice. And there's all different types, again, of outfits here. So, 
there's sporty stuff to nightlights, nightlife stuff. Um, actually, I think a lot of the oh, and the Sims Replay is sponsored by Toyota, which is I think it's sponsored. But I think they have like a partnership, which is why you see so many Toyota things all over the place, and they're handing it out for free. Um, is because I think they have a partnership. It makes a lot of sense. But um, yeah, so. You can pretty much choose a variety of different outfits, and I just want to kind of go for something more just kind of casual, I guess, for right now. Oh, a lot of their outfits are kind of, um, I feel bad saying this, but like old in taste. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, yeah, it's, it's more stuff that older people will wear, which isn't a bad thing, except for the sports stuff, except for the sporty stuff. But a lot of their fashion stuff is like, I don't know. Um, anyways, and I guess the tank tops, I guess, um, younger adults could wear also, but, I mean, I don't know, a lot of their stuff is stuff I don't really buy at the mall, but, I mean, let's choose a top that matches with her eyes, so I'm gonna go with this turquoise top, and let's choose a nice set of shorts or pants or skirts for her, um, for every top, I tend to find a matching bottom. There is one if you, you just have to browse for it, but usually there's a lot of stuff that matches. Um, so you can definitely just look around for like a skirt or something that matches. And let's go with, let's see. Yeah, I mean, as you can tell, there's just a variety of things that you can choose from and you can definitely mix and match and see whatever you like so let's just go with this because I also like the color purple and you definitely don't want those shoes with this outfit I actually really like these boots but I don't know if they match I always feel weird whenever I see girls with skirts and boots because it's it I know it's it's a fashion thing but every time I see it I'm like well are you hot or are you cold <laughs> so um, but anyway the shoe section there's stuff ranging from sneakers to boots to uh, platforms, to heels, to um, to things that look like toms, loafers, I guess you would say, and yeah. So these are sandals, um, and definitely a lot of different shoe types. So I guess you could get pretty indecisive being here. <laughs> on this creative sim menu and the wardrobe. So I'm actually just gonna go with these boots. Cause uh, yeah, I think boots with heels look really nice, but I mean, sometimes it's more comfortable to just go with flats or sneakers. It's just whatever mood you're in, but right now I'm, I'm kind of in this mood, so. Um, I wanna see your guys' sims, so. I don't know if YouTube allows a way for you guys to screenshot it, and post it on the comment section or something, but yeah, I definitely want to see your guys' sims. So, or I guess you guys can describe what they look like if you guys don't want to post it, or if there's no way of posting it. But anyway, let's just go back to this, and I've got the shoes, and I've got the skirt, and I've got the top. And uh, again, you can choose a whole outfit if you want, that's on the very last tab. But I'm just going to stick with this sim, so I've got everything here ranging from you can customize everything on the head, from the hair, to the eyes, to the makeup, and you can customize the outfit, top and bottom, or a whole set. You can customize the skin tone and the shoes that they wear, and later on, if you guys go to the fashion store, you can update that, or if you go to the barber shop, you can update your hairstyle, um, and you can add things like rings and um, earrings and umbrellas and random stuff like that. So anyway, this is going to be my final sim. Let's accept and add Candy Green to the town. And um, yeah. So we've got our sim. And let's make her come outside to see what she looks like more clearly. And this is what she looks like. And she's yawning. <laughs> It's like her first time seeing light. <laughs> so, yeah, um, but yeah, this is just my first townhouse that you get from um, creating The Sims Freeplay. And this is the sim that I've just created. 
Um, so that is a review of how you guys create a sim and the different aspects that 